this is what they look like when you start the whole bottom of the, the whole bottom of the door is all rotted off there and then on the outside as well this one's not quite as bad as the other side it's well it is all the way up into the hinge but it's a little bit better I'm pulling these windows out as well while I'm doing this and the vent windows I'm gonna do a one-piece window um, if you take these windows out though when you're I would take them out when you're doing this just so you don't break the glass be careful with this spring this thing if you take this regulator loose and have your arm in there that regulator will spin around and about chop your arm off so look set this piece if there's still some of the door like this left set this piece in here and get the especially if you have some of this any of this outside where you can get this lip right and get the angle right and then scribe this line all the way through here where you're going to be cutting but make sure to get a line down here so when you put this back in you know where this angle because if you put this back in like this you're going to run into the problem i had on that other door it needs to be like that doesn't really look like a big difference that little half of an inch right there but once you get down into here where the door has to line up with this rocker panel that's why it, it needs to be straight there because that that cut that's inside of there is what makes that that angle all right so i got the the inner door or the door bottom on this on the passenger door and i haven't cut this off yet so you want to take your your patch panel or your bottom panel and fit it make sure you get it all the way up this way all the way up here all the way up on there and then really anything will work on this paint to, to get a line there gonna be cutting this just below that and then the proper way to do this is to either crimp this down or run this edge through a bead roller but I'll show you how we're gonna do it we're just gonna roll it over once we get it cut and then weld along this line I'm doing this one with a just a broken hammer head to hold underneath the here and a regular hammer to hit it here. The trick is you want to keep this edge on that line. So once this panel comes in, that line needs to be in the bend that's going down. We don't want it way low, but we just want to make sure that it's in the rounded part. And that way the weld will be below the, the paint surface. push this down you can bend this door all out of out of being straight this way we know these two corners are right because they're tight up to the bottom of the inner panel so you're going to want to put a piece of wood or something that's straight push this panel this is bent up both of them push them down together and then spot weld it here panel straight.
don't look like student drivers. <laughs> I think that way you don't get pulled over or something, right? Yeah, if you're swerving, I say, oh, I'm just a kid. <laughs> So the hinge goes in there like that. Um, so when you get this panel from these people, it'll have this hole already drilled. It covers this hole, so you have to drill that hole, but it doesn't cover that one. Um, that's kind of how you can line up this side of the panel. But the, the rot on this door goes to right here. Everything past that is, is good the rest of the, the rest of the inner door it's just it stops right there so I'm gonna make a small filler piece to fill this in and we'll just have to bend it back and then weld it all the way around and get that solid again uh, let's take this I guess you bolt that in and that helps me to keep it lined up while I'm doing the work and then you just need to take your hinge set it on these two to figure out where you want to drill your hole for the top one and drill it big drill it with like a half inch drill bit so you have a bigger hole there than what the actual because there's a plate in the back that the hinge will bolt to now once you get it to where some part is right like say if we get this line correct we can weld this line and then start hammering it in as we're welding it and get it all spotted the only thing that's going to be really important is it has to be flat as far over as the hinge goes so over to right here we have to keep it flat it can't start curling out so that's why we want to kind of get it fitted like that and then we'll need to figure out where our bolt hole is right there and we'll drill that hole out so like that and now that we got that bolted in there we can just start this down to the door And uh, once we start welding it, like maybe we weld it here and then hammer it down a little more, a little tighter, and keep working it around. So you can get impatient or I get impatient. I've got this really good. Rather than starting hammering this over, go ahead and weld this. Get this all nice and straight, tied in, and then hammer that over, and that'll keep you from just having this thing work to 10 different directions. So these uh, plates that the hinge bolts to should have a piece of metal behind them that holds them, so they'll move around but not fall down. This one had fallen out, 
So I use some weed whacker line. You use a string or whatever. Go down and there's an opening in the bottom. You got to tie it on that, pull it up there and kind of bolt it in and then just spot weld it a little bit like that. Uh, this door, the bottom of the rocker or the bottom of the door is hitting on this rocker. When I bought this truck, it didn't have any rocker or any floors, so I had to make this. Um, so it's just a little bit off, so I just got to do a little hammering. do a little bit of work here it's a little bit out past the rocker but it's pretty close swings pretty good closes good uh, it's pretty good here it needs to go a little bit to the front um, and then I got to make the bottoms of these fenders still here I got the door back on it might not be easy to see with the Sun being so bright uh, it swings good, shuts real nice and easy. And on the inside, got a whole new bottom there. I just gotta weld the pinch lip there all the way around. Paint the inside of the doors real good to make sure they don't rust from the inside at all. And then I'm gonna cut off these uh, these old door straps and put on some different door straps. But that's it for the door skins. Just need a little bit of uh, cleaning up and a little straightening up, and they'll be ready to do the bottom. Mill Supply, Cleveland, Ohio. It's 800-888. 5072 Some good products they fit real good